Hey, 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 guys. Hey, it's your girl Ivadni again. I'm happy to be with you tonight. Happy Women's Day to all the women out there who are joining us tonight. Um, I must apologize for the little delay in start. You know, we always have some kind of technical thing going on. Um, yes, and um, Sharika is um, having some issues with technical, with, with um, her bandwidth, so she may fall off. But if she does, she will come back. But, you know, there is some connectivity issues over there. And I was alerted by my phone company that they're, they're having down. Um, and so my signal might be affected too. So it could go both ways tonight. But I am so happy to be with you. Happy, happy Women's Day to all the ladies. And I'm very proud to be able to present my special guest to you tonight, Sharika Barham. Sharika, welcome. welcome. Good night, everyone, and happy Women's Day um, to every woman out there. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. I, I thank you for coming. Girl, you blew up this page today so badly. I'm, I'm like, I was in awe all day. I just kept working, working, working Facebook all day because people were so happy to see you. People were so excited. Do you understand what that means for you and your business? It means a lot and I appreciate each and every one. Really, 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 really good. Um, the support was phenomenal for you today. Yesterday's support was excellent also, but yours went a bit beyond what we saw yesterday. Um, let me see if I could get some data from Facebook here on your post, the original post that I made. Um, 19,135 people saw your post 19,000 since I posted it today. Wow. That's, that's remarkable. Wow, that's a huge yes, yes, yes. So you should see, you should see some benefit from your, your channel in terms of, um, people, yeah. people, um, subscribing and so on. Cause some people did say they would go on and subscribe, but I'm very impressed with yeah. the show of support for you and for what you're doing. People were extremely, extremely proud that as a young lady, a beautiful, accomplished young lady, that you chose to go into farming, that you know, a lot of people, young people are are, are staying clear of because they don't want to get their hands dirty. But here you are, a girl yeah. of St. Elizabeth, the breadbasket of Jamaica you are trying yes. to feed the masses to make sure that we have food available for the local consumption. And we, we are proud of you here on this page, New Market St. Elizabeth. We want to see more of that. We always encourage people to lot. feed themselves, grow what you eat. And here you are, an example of that. How do you feel this evening? Yes. How are you feeling? I feel overwhelmed. I'm feeling happy. I feel I feel good that you know people can actually grab onto positivity. Nice, nice, nice girl. I'm happy for you. So um Thank you 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 grew up in the in the area um of woodlands, right? Yes. Yeah. And that's a very um, remote part of um, St. Elizabeth and by far Jamaica. It's in the hills above Newmarket. And um, you grew up there, humble yes, beginning. I, I can imagine a very humble start. Yes. And um, you, you went to school where? Your primary school. I went. I went to Springfield um, All A School. It is still in the vicinity, in Woodland, Woodland vicinity. Okay. It's not far from my home. I could walk to school. Okay, great. So after you um, 
you went there, you, you did well in school, I imagine? Yes, I did. Okay. Did you have challenges that time when you were going to school? Did you find it very challenging to go to school every day? Yes, it was challenging because I could not attend school like a regular child should. I normally attend school like sometimes three days a week and sometimes two. Why you was know, depending on how my home is. Oh my. Sorry to um, hear. You. Why was that? At that financial. School? Okay. So they didn't have money to send you to yeah. school um, at the time. <clears throat> so you yeah. you did yeah. what you could with what you had. And um, were you able to pass yeah. your exam to get a placement in in um in uh what was it? Is Magati High? Or Lakovia? No, Lakovia High. Lakovia High. Lakovia. You, you had passed your um your exam to go there? Yes, but and then I have to, I went there for some months and mm -hmm. then I had to transfer to a closer school, which was Louisville High School. Okay. So once you were yeah. um did you enjoy your time over over there at Lakovia High? I I cannot say yes and I cannot say no because I did not get the time to settle down and feel welcome and free. It was, you know, oh. It was all about can I Hard. go tomorrow and stuff like that. So, yes. Oh my. So sorry to hear that, girl. It was just a, a struggle. It was yeah. just all struggle. Yeah. And, and then they moved you to, yes. to Louisville. So once you got to Louisville, that was. Actually, I moved myself. <laughs> so you're all with myself. You're always a woman of, of, of knowing what you want and just going for it. That's wonderful. Yeah, because at that point, uh -huh. at that point, I used to attend the Charles Guard Market in Montego Bay uh -huh. for financial help um, for myself. Oh. So I was a bit a woman of my own. So I, I knew that I could not attend La Cobra High because I did not have it. Uh -huh. So I transferred myself to Louisville High. So, yeah. so you were, you, you were and, basically responsible for yourself from an early age and your decisions. Yes, yeah, so and I normally go to the market to sell grown provisions at, at, at a tender age, you know, to help with whatever needs I have to, to mend. Who did you go to the market in Montego Bay with? I went alone on the market shop. Oh my. Um, with other people being the market. Yeah, I know, I know, I know the adults would take care of you. So it wasn't like a grandmother or your mother you went with. It was no. just you taking on that no. initiative. What drove yes, you from so early? What, yes, what, yes. what was inside your gut that made you do those things so early? I, what I learned now since I'm, I'm a grown woman, I've learned that, you know, it's, it's a gut of, in, of being independent. Yeah. It's a gut of being independent. That's what I learned. Girl, you, you make independence look, 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 look different. You you took it on yes, because, like from early. Yes, because I knew I knew I had to do something about, you know, the, the living condition. I know it wasn't something I wanted. So, you know, I have to go for what I believe in and what I really wanted. Okay. So that, I have to go with their um yes. That's so commendable, girl. I, you know, you know, I wear my big hat, so I could say my hat off to you. Hat off to Thank you, you, girl. You 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 rock today. You know, we couldn't have chosen a Thank better you. person for the program this evening on Women's Day. You, you inspire. I can't believe you. you and you know, I mean, it's go ahead. Yes, and when I was going to the market, I was at that time I was um fourteen, fifteen, and I was really small. Yeah. So whenever I reach at the market, people would normally ask me where are my parents and who am I here with and they would not believe I was there alone until they learned I wasn't lying you know and they accepted me and supported me a lot so they used to look out for you yeah. you were the little baby that they took care of make sure nobody robbed you nobody you know make sure your stuff gets yeah. sold yes so, yes I and I, I gain customers based upon my age and my size wow 
Where were your your parents? And I, yes, and I, I also didn't know. Huh? At that time, um, at that time, my mom um, was sick and passing away um, by cancer. Okay. So she, she passed away? How long yes, ago? and my, um, when I was 15, I'm now 25. Okay. So this is like 10 years. Okay. Yes. And and were there any aunts or grandparents, uncle or anybody that was kind of looking out for you at that? Well, I grew I grew up with my aunt in the, in a home with my aunt and my grandmother and other cousins and you know, but there wasn't really a support like having your real parents around. If you know how that goes. And your dad? Yeah. I didn't grow up with my dad. He grew up in his little um, vicinity. I did not grow up with him. So okay. I didn't really have support from him. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So it was, it, most of the time it was just me. Most of the time it was just me. Okay. So people yeah. out there on Facebook, Guys, thank you so much for joining, for being here with us tonight. Okay. Just give me a sec. Okay, just give me a sec. Okay. All right, I'm back. I'm back with you. Sorry about that break, guys. Um, but if you're on Facebook, please continue to put your thoughts and commendation in the chat for this young lady. She, she is right. doing, she's doing very well. Sorry but, about that for break, guys. Um, but if you're on Facebook, please continue to put your thoughts and chat for this young lady she she well um, i messed up here i have to stop one of these two things going Um, Facebook, sorry about that. I I um I got two things going at once, so I had to end one. So I hope no one gets cut off in all of that. Um, yeah, we're back. So I was saying, those people on Facebook, just continue to put your love and your comments and congratulations in the in the chat for this young lady. Show her some support and some love. I had invited you to go to her channel and make sure you subscribe so she could get an income from, from that source. Um, Sharika, you're obviously a stronger person than me. Very brave young lady. Yes. <laughs> very brave. Yeah. So very brave heart. You know, St. Elizabeth women are tough. They're, 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 they're tough. They're, they they can they can withstand and hardship hardship and they can rise above it. That's one thing you could say about um, yeah. 
women from St. Elizabeth, they're made of sturdy, sturdy material. And you, there's no greater show of yeah. that than, than you right in front of me right there. Um, so you, you, you by your account says, you know, going to school was not consistent because you, you constantly had a problem with finances and you had to go to the market to sell to make yeah. sure that you could stay in school for a few days per week. So um, when you got to the stage yeah. to graduate, what did you um, achieve? What significant thing did you achieve um, with your education at that stage? I did not finish school. I did not finish high school because um, it was just too much on me alone. And I had, I had to be doing too much, you know? So I did not finish. Okay, what, what, what form did you stop? I stopped um, in grade 10. I didn't do, I didn't do much time there either. Okay. I did not do much time there. All right, so yeah. So, well, thank God you can read and write and speak properly. <laughs> it's, it's girl, yeah. it's rough. And, and let me tell you something. Yeah. You, you have been through all of that and you, you took on to do your business at, at some point when you realized you couldn't continue education, you had to choose. Yeah. And you, you made a good choice. Yeah. And you're doing yeah. the best you can with that business and you're kicking ass, kicking ass all over. Because what you're doing there, a yeah. lot of men cannot do it. Yeah. So so don't don't even be ashamed of the fact that you couldn't do everything you wanted to do. You're still no, young. I... you're still young and you still yeah. can you still can go and complete your high school and um and go on to college, you know, um, you. Yes, um, when you stated, when, when you stated that um, I should not be ashamed, that I'm never going to be ashamed, right? Because I often um, tell young people that once your hustle is positive, don't let anyone, so no one, belittle your hustle. Yeah. And that's my motto. Okay. That's true. Yeah. You, 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 you could have done, you could have had yeah. five, six, seven, eight children and begging and, you know, just don't know where to turn, but look how you handled yourself. Yeah. And you're still standing, still looking beautiful, still, still out there, you know, carving out a life for yourself and your child. Is it one child you have? Yeah. Yeah. Two sons. Huh? Yeah. How Two old sons. is it? I didn't hear. How many? Two. Two. What are their ages? Yes. Yeah. How Age old are nine you? and one plus? Okay, great. So you are out there doing your thing. Ages nine. Yeah. Okay. Nine and one plus. You're out there kicking ass. And I want, yeah. I, I would love to, to, if we could just garner more support for you so that you can continue to kick ass. And while you're at it, you know, study yeah, okay. and finish your education. Cause you can, you can stay home and still do a high school um, program, whether it's overseas or, or there or wherever you can. So you could stay with your kid while you're doing it and still do your farming and still do your education. Or do you have that desire though? Or you just want to do your business? Do you um, since since I have been, uh, since I've been through so much, you know, I, in my early age, I, I normally think about it. But since I now have two children that I need to focus on their education, Mm -hmm. I just think I'm, I'm going to continue growing my business and, you know, helping them the best as I can as a mom. Okay. So maybe, maybe all that you need right now is, is support to make your business better. And, and, you know, so you could support your family and um, maybe some, some business training here and there so you can better navigate the business space with your produce. Um, 
where do you see where yeah, do you see yourself exactly. going with this with this business where do you see tell me what's your ideal right now with your farm with my farming right now i see myself growing you know growing getting better and just doing it um the best of my ability you know there's always going to be something bigger and I may cannot say no, but I know years to come, months to come, it's going to be better and bigger. That's my aim. Right. So what kind yeah. of crops do you plant now? What, what do you specialize in? I specialize in a variety of crops. I specialize in carrots, cabbages, sweet potatoes, Irish, sweet peppers, pumpkin. Yeah. Um... If people want to get in touch with you to buy your produce um, wholesale, do you have a number you could put out there for them? Yes, I do. Go ahead. Um, it will be 851 851-7323. 851-7323. 851-7323. 23 23 all right so you heard it guys um yeah people out there who want to do um business with her who want to support her and her farm and um you know want to give her a chance to grow just call her at 851-7323 if you need to buy um produce from her no i don't expect you guys to be harassing her I saw some people saying that they want to marry you. <laughs> and some people wanted to know if you were single, but please don't harass her. Just extend a hand of, um, of help to her wherever you can to make her business grow. And again, the number is 851-7323 if you're interested in buying her produce. Um, Okay, so we'll repeat this number again for you later on, guys, in the group. Uh, so sometime last year, I believe it was, I'm not sure what part, but you could tell us, people went over in your field. Uh, so she got kicked off. So I guess she will be back. We just wait until she come back, Facebook, guys. Um, Guys in the chat, what do you think? While she while she is getting back online, what do you think? Let me see some of your comments so I could read them while she rejoins us. Remember, she has poor internet, poor internet connection where she is at the moment. So those of you who are watching, just give us a sec while she comes back online. And I'm gonna read some of your comments while she's um while she's connecting. Eric Chambers says congratulations. Annette Heron touch by inspiring story. Um Delhi B, can you imagine the three plus teeth them when stole her produce? What a shame. Um Camry says yes, them hard and tough in one good night um donna maria smith good night p lenora never spends good job put the men to shame great job says morbia um she's still trying to join um nikki boo says congratulations hon so proud of you rosalind beckford strong woman proud of you donna smith keep up the great job Tetlin Smith, I'm proud of you, my past student. Um, Yvonne Comrie, proud of you. Donna says, congratulations, Yvonne said, watching. Arlene Foster, good night. Happy Women's Day to all ladies in the world. We all are queens. Thank you, um, Arlene. Um, so you're back with us. I was just reading some of these comments here. Uh, Amanda yeah. Brown says, congratulations, um, girl, real. Saint Yao, um, strong black woman, I salute you, said Boswell Ricketts, and so on and so on and so forth. 
All right, so I was, I was about to ask you, sometime last year, I don't know which month it was, but I saw the story that thieves went in and cleared out a whole patch of your field that you, 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 you planted. Can you tell us when that was and what that whole thing was for you? Um, it was sometime, it was late last year sometime. Um, at that time, I was, I was really broken, right? I was broken, I was hurt because um, I have my children home waiting for me to come through while someone is out there, you know, breaking me down the way they did. Uh -huh. So I was hurt. I was torn apart. I got emotional at the scene. It was crazy. What kind of it was um, crazy. produce did what what did you have planted at the spot that they, they, they cleared out? Actually they stole two of my crops. They stole sweet peppers and then they went back and dug up my sweet potatoes. The same night or a different night? Two um two weeks in a row. Oh Jesus. So they dug up the sweet yeah. potato and the um, sweet peppers. About yeah. how, how, how much um, land did that cover? Like a half an acre, acre? Do you, can you, can you? Um, where, at that time where, was, where I had the farm, I could not um, estimate the acreage because it is not on a flat surface. It is hilly and stony. So I could not, I cannot determine the acreage. Um, can you give a value of what you but think it was been when you sell it? It was, it, it was, it was quite a lot because at that time, everything was on a high price. Yeah, yeah. so it was oh. a great loss. Yeah. Was, was the police helpful? Did they find who, who did this? Did they find the, the food anywhere? No, they, they, they took the statement and they, they said they went on investigations, but nothing came from it. So that was just gone. Did, did anybody yeah. attempt to, to, to help you um, to get back on your feet to recruit that loss? Yes, yes, I received, yes, I received a he um, help from some of my um, social media fans. Okay. Wow. Can you imagine? This poor young lady. Well, I'm not even gonna call her a poor young lady. This this is a this is a this is a strong woman. There's nothing poor about her. She has the spirit, the vibes, the tenacity, the everything. But this young lady with her kids trying to do her business, a business that men, most men in Jamaica today don't want to do. Their hands can't touch the ground. Yeah. They can't do farming. They don't have the stamina to stand up in a field all day in the sun. And they feel that it is okay to ride in and reap your crop. What have you done yeah. to prevent this from happening again? Did you change from that spot that you were farming? Yes, I, I did change. But, um, you know, I don't think there is much that a farmer can do to protect um, their, pro their produces from thieves, right? I don't see much that a farmer can do. Just have to go out there, not be um, discouraged and just work and hope and pray that it doesn't happen all over again. Right, right, right. Yeah. Um, do, you, do you have enough land to, to farm? Do you have problem finding land so far? Um, not no, because I um, um I occupied um a piece of land now that I am I feel good working on, I feel comfortable working on it. So I okay, I think she, she um the internet connection is acting up yeah she she's gone so she's gonna try to rejoin us 
Okay. I was asking, are you hearing me yet? Yeah, yeah. I was asking if um if you have enough land for farming or you need more land to, to put into farming. Yes, I do I do have land now. Is it enough or do you need more in your in your quest for expanding? Do you need more? Yes, I would I would really love to um to occupy more land because as I said, what I have now is already farmed up. So yes, I would really love to have to get more land, but at this moment, land is in a very high demand because of this whole um COVID, you know, the pandemic. Everyone is now engaging into farming. So you know everyone is occupying their land space that they didn't normally use. Okay. All right. Do you have government land over in that area? Not as I um, know about. Okay. Not that I know about. You should ask uh, ask Rada if they have government land because they usually have government land all over the place that they rent to farmers. So if you don't ask, you will. I did ask them. Mm -hmm. I did ask them, but they said um, not at this moment. Okay. Okay. All right. So there yeah. might be other people who who are on here who have um, land over there in Jamaica who they can that they can give up um, to you for the police or just for you to use for farming purposes. It might not be close to where you are, but you know. Uh, you you seem to be an adventurous girl if you <laughs> if you were going to to off to sell your own stuff in Charles Garden Market <laughs> at such a young age I, I I'm terrified of that place yes. when I was younger <laughs> so you you you're brave you would go anywhere and work I know that yes. do you drive yes um sometimes Okay, so if you if you got land away like Lakovia or you know Manchester or some other place that you need to do farming, you just drive there to to set up your stuff, right? Yeah. Okay, that's wonderful. Okay, so um, girl, you 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 knocked me over. You almost have me speechless. Um, is there anything? <laughs> That you think that anyone can do for you at this stage that you would you would like to um have done um at this very moment i am really not demanding but you know whatever whatever i receive from someone i i am extremely grateful like extreme extremely grateful Okay. But at this very moment, I really need a, a saw. It doesn't matter how small it is. So, I really need a saw right now. Power saw? Yes. As in, yes. Okay. Were you able to build your own home? No, no, I don't. Okay. So you're renting? That is, yes, that okay. is one of my biggest goals. Okay, to purchase a piece of land and then start your building. Yes. Uh, do you have land now? Or access to land no, that you still on? No, not still not yet. You ever no. tried to ask those those um people who give government houses to to get you one of them? At one point I tried, but I did not um succeed. Okay. Well, because that they, they requires a lot. They requires a lot, and if you're um. If it doesn't go to them the way they they want you to, you won't um you won't um get it. Like what? What they require a lot of um paperwork, and actually sometimes it's not even the paperwork, but the source that you go through. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I'm sure there are people um here who who probably knows how to navigate those programs so that they could give you. A piece of a, 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 um, a house so that you know you can set up something and then expand. <clears throat> sorry, expand on it. You know later mm -hmm. on, but it would be a great start for you um, because if you can get it, why not? Yeah. You know, like we said, no shame in this game, girl. Yes, because you <laughs> you you struggled enough. No, you know? that that is that is my motto. Yeah, no shame in the game. No yeah, shame that is my motto. 
if you can get if you can get i do it you know at one point when i you know at one point i i normally feel like that right because i have to walk on the main road uh -huh. to enter my farm right and i was the night the, the, the very first night before i enter my farm i i did not sleep because i was thinking that how am i going to do this how am i going to cross the, the main road where everyone is passing i'm going to be wearing my water boots and my farm clothes and i was frustrated i did not sleep and when i woke up when i wake up that morning and i get dressed to go to the farm when i reach on the road and everyone that passes starting to blow me i i gain i gain, I gain some confidence i was walking with confidence i was walking so proud and happy and let me tell you people respect me for doing that because they were like you are too beautiful are, are you really a farmer and i did not expect to get all that you know and today i can say i am proud of myself very proud i'm very not praising proud. myself but i am extremely proud of myself no you should praise it my way you should praise yourself you are worthy yeah. of it girl you have been yes I come along. you have been down the road of i don't know what to make sure that you, yes you're standing today you should be proud of yes. yourself don't make anybody water that down don't make anybody water down the pride no. you you you're humble yes. and you should be proud you know with humility that that, that you know you I'm have this strength and the presence of mind to keep yourself together and to hold yourself up all these years on your own to this point where you yeah. where you are you are your yeah. your sensation your youtube channel looks good by the way and you're doing what you need to do you're doing the right thing you Thank know you. and um Thank i'm you. sure people will reach yeah. out to you to to give you assistance and 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 just graciously accept yeah. them. as long as none of them trying to jump up in your bed up there you hear me um <laughs> so you yeah. have to protect and take care of yourself i know you're a smart girl you know how to handle yourself but you know if god decide that your blessing is about to to come to you you know accept the blessing you know when i saw your story yeah. um in the paper i was i was like really outraged about it and um i i, I think i reposted it on the new market said elizabeth site but i i wondered how i could have gotten in touch with you um uh, but at, at the time i was like really really busy i think i was really taken up with my coaching um thing that i was doing at the time and so i didn't dig i didn't dig um further into finding her but see the lord brought you to me right and yeah. and and he brought you to me not at that time when i thought you know your thing was in the paper and it was all over but at a better time when i was able to give the story more attention so you could have gotten the amount of views that you got today because at that time yeah. if i had been talking to you i would have been able to pay attention to the post on facebook and push it the way i did like i did today to yeah. give you so much more coverage so sometimes things happen and we think it's you know whatever but it's all it's all in god's timing and the universe has yeah. a way of working it out for us so you came to yeah. me at the right time you know at that time i wasn't ready because i was just focused on doing other stuff but today i was able to focus on yeah. your story and i hope it will lead to even more blessings for you and i really admire how brave you were to come on here and to talk about your story because like i said there is no shame in this it would yeah. be more shameful for you to sit down and need help and don't say you need help and have your kids over there suffering than to make people know yeah what your story is to put on your water boot and go over to your farm and do what you need to do to make sure that your kids yeah. have an education that they have food on the table and a roof over their head girl 
you are a phenomenal woman. Phenomenal. Don't let anybody take Thank that. You. I'm sure tomorrow when you walk Thank on the you. board, you're going to hear even more tooting. <laughs> and even more respect for you. You're a shining yes. example to the young ladies and young men around. You got to show the guys now how it's done, right? <laughs> okay, so. And um, as, I, yeah. as I gain, as I gain more followers on my YouTube channel, I am going to do a video um, featuring um, young people and the impact their surroundings can have on their lives and what they can do to actually fight out of it. And I hope I can actually win some person's heart and mind towards positivity and that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm just hoping you're looking forward and, you know, grab right. onto it. And you could share your story with people. Um, find more places that you yeah. can talk about your story. Um, you could have one of these yeah. fancy people who write books for people now write a book for you and tell your story yeah. so that, you know, you can make an income from your book too and your farm. Um, you're putting it already out there on YouTube. You, you, you're doing a, a fantastic job. You just need more exposure, more people to share it and like it. Um, girl, you're going yes. to do great things. Yes, I am, really, I am really concerned for persons that are being or have been or is going through my situation that I have been through and they cannot really fight through it because not yeah. everyone can actually get up and fight through it like I did. Not right. everyone have that strength and that drive inside of them to actually go there and do it. So, you know, I want to be, you know, um, having impact, positive impact on young people's lives, especially, you know, women in general. You know, both genders, but, you know, women, they, they, they tend to think that they're not good enough and they cannot do that. And right. because they are from such background or, you know, generation or whatever, they cannot do whatever they think they do because they let people be little who they are. Right. You know, and I'm here to lift people, young people that know there are alternatives out there. You know, yeah. it doesn't and have that to be like, like about pride, you know, people, what people are yeah. gonna think, what people are gonna say. Who cares? Yes. Do what you need to do. Nobody cares. Okay. Nope. Yes, because by the end of the day, by the end of the day, it takes you. Yeah. To do you, right? Nobody knows what you're going through. Nobody's going to root for you like you root for yourself. So if you don't root for yourself, nobody will root for you. And when That's you're what I hungry, learned. when you're hungry and your back is up against the wall, are those people helping you? No. So be smart. No. You have to go there and do what you have to do. Right. I often tell people that pride won't pay the bills. Pride will not pay the bills. Okay. No, it won't. It won't. A lady reached out to me today from um, Springfield. No, not Springfield. Oh, geez. I don't remember which school might be about where you are. She's a principal. Yeah. She reached out and she wanted to get in touch with you. She's the one who shared the information with me about these women farming groups. Um, yeah. So I'll send you her number to get in contact with her so that she can... Um, she can help to put you in these groups and working with Rad on certain things and so on. And um, she's gonna come on here later in the week and share and share with us um, Thursday night in the in the section about women and leadership. She's gonna be on there, and I think she might be back on on Monday for an interview. But um, yeah, so you haven't put your story out there. Okay. You are going to find a lot of help coming from different, different sources for you. Because that's what happened when you are honest okay. and you're not afraid. No shame in the circumstances yeah. that you were born in. And you're not walking around begging anyone. You're doing for yourself. Mm -hmm. So people would be willing yeah. to reach out and help you. And, you know, for us from the area, I just this is this is an example of just how we we should help each other. We should try to bring up each yeah. other. We should try to open doors for each other. Because a lot of people are going through similar things, like you said. But they don't know who to turn to because maybe the friend that they have or the family member that they have, that person don't have it either. 
and and so th they're afraid to ask because they don't want it to seem like yeah. they're burdened to people or they're begging because St. Elizabeth people are humble but they're very proud very very proud you, you don't see people on St. Elizabeth walking yeah. around with cans yeah. because they are a very proud set of people no um they, they they don't have money but they have a lot of pride and so they'll prefer sometimes mm -hmm. suffering in silence mm -hmm. than to walk around and beg people I don't think I've, you know, I've yeah. seen, have you seen people around walking around with cans begging? No, <laughs> I have never seen it in St. Elizabeth. And if you do see it in St. Elizabeth. <laughs> if they're in St. Elizabeth, they're not from there. Because St. Elizabeth people have a lot of pride. They grow up with a lot of pride about themselves and they respect themselves. So they prefer to work for what they want than to be walking around with can begging people. So, yeah. Um, well, let me let you go. I know you have your sons to take care of and um, your internet service is not that great. Um, see what I mean? She just, <laughs> it just kicked her off. Uh, guys, I'm going to talk a little bit until she comes back on. But I, I so want to thank you for supporting your small businesses in the area, supporting um, these YouTube channels that I've been asking you to support, whether it's the music or the farming or whatever they're doing, guys, it doesn't take anything out of you to follow a channel. You clicking on it that you like it or, or subscribing to it don't mean that you have to listen to them every time they come on. It don't mean that you have to follow them, um, everything they do, but you're support in just clicking that you subscribe or you like that channel it goes a far way in helping this person's business this is like the biggest thing you could do for anyone to support their business is this social media part of it to help them and it, it really doesn't take anything off you know you, you're not going to get charged by youtube or facebook to like or share or subscribe to anybody's thing. That is the way that these people can get some money back from these places. So do it. It's not taking anything off you, right? If you don't understand how social media works, that's how it works. By you subscribing to her channel and a few thousand people subscribing to her channel, that in itself will make her earn money from YouTube. And um, so we help her to grow her channel so that she can start um, receiving. Have you started receiving any income from your channel? No, I'm not um, there as yet. I think you have to be up to more thousands before you get there. But yeah, we can yeah. help. If we yeah. keep encouraging and keep helping and keep appealing, we can get it up there so that you can start receiving um, some kind of income. Well, thank you so mm -hmm. much. So, so, so you didn't tell me why, why they call you that nickname that you use for um, Jesse. Why they call you Jesse? Actually, I gave myself that name. So, so why you call yourself Jesse? I think it's fitting, though. I like it. You know, um, I was on social. I was on Facebook with, uh, you know, Sherka, and then I, I thought that, you know, I don't like the idea of having my name out there, so. I just thought about a name and I came up with, with um, Jesse May and I, everyone likes it, you know, and then um, with my farm, with my farmer name now, I just came up with farmer girl, Jesse yeah. and it's catchy and you know, everyone likes it. It's so, catchy. You know, it's catchy and, it's, and it suits you and, and it's, it's good. Yes. Very good. I like it. Farmer girl, Jesse. <laughs> yes. Okay. So my, my, I'm over on Instagram as Farmer Girl Jess, where I have um, uh, a, a large um, page over there. Yeah. A lot of farm. Um, What's your following on Instagram? I don't hear you. What's the Instagram following? How much is I it? Have over, I have over 11,000 followers on Instagram. Oh, that's good. You're growing. You go, girl. You go. Yeah. Um. Has anyone taught you how to monetize these these um platforms to get no, money not from yet. them? I'm learning a bit. 
I'm yeah. learning a bit, but um, I have to get more followers and more subscriptions. No, but there's also yes. other things that you could do. For example, um, since you have that big following, like on Instagram, um, if you take other people's product mm -hmm. and talk about them, they pay you to do that. They're supposed to pay you to do that. So those are ways that people make income. So there are different ways that you could maximize that okay. that big audience that you're 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 amassing. Um, not just for um, yeah, not just for them to pay you, but how you could make income from that. For yeah. example, I have teas. Um, you could drink my teas and and tell your audience about it and if they like it and so on and i would have to pay you to go on and show my teas and and talk about it you know that's that's one way people make money on on the internet yeah. so yeah so there's stuff that you can do all right so we talk more about that i think we need to do yeah. some kind of training on how to monetize social media and how to set up your stuff so that yeah you know, you can you can make the most out of it. Like you need you need to have a Facebook page, not just not just the one with your friends, but you need to have a business page. Yeah. So that you could do targeted yeah. ads to people on a page. You can't do that um, effectively on your friends list, but if you have a page, you could do that, right? So I, I, I'll see what I could do to try to get some kind of training in for, for you guys with about social media. I'm not an expert, but I'm going to try to find an expert who could give you guys some kind of training on that virtually. All right, um, Jesse, <laughs> thank you so much for your time. And remember out there, if you want to get in touch with her to assist her or to buy her produce she's not begging but if you want to um donate anything to her cause or to give her a boost by buying some of her stuff her number is 8517323 that's 8517323 thank you so much jesse i'll be calling on you from time to time to to, to, to get these guys and girls in motion with their farming. Because you, you, I know you can kick them Thank in you. here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing your story with all of us. We love you and we and for you. Also. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Have a wonderful night. Okay. okay. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome.